Welcome to this episode of Refill with Randy. Grab your favorite cup, fill it up, and let's start this day right together. Well, it's good to be together again today. Thank you for joining me. I bet you didn't know that I had those mad piano skills. Actually, my uh, my daughter, uh, she is very, very good on the piano. I only took one semester in college. And it's interesting how I came about doing that. I had started at Central College, McPherson, Kansas, got to give another shout out, and my buddy Tom Rivers was with me, and we decided to join the chorale. Now, a chorale is basically, it's a, uh, it's a choir, a little bit like that, you, you travel, you kind of share a story with the music and song. And <clears throat> during that time, I remember uh, Tom and I and another person, we had one of only three speaking, non-singing parts. <laughs> and at the end of that semester, my professor, uh, Sylvia, I hope you're watching. <laughs> uh, she came up to me and she said, Randy, maybe next semester you should take piano. <laughs> that, was, that was her kind way of saying, singing is not your gift. And, and it was very true. Singing, it, it's not my gift, it's my joy. Uh, I always say I make up in volume what I lack in tune. But... What I want to emphasize today is it's good to know what your gifts are. It's good to know what your gifts aren't. You know, my first probably, I don't know, almost 10 years in ministry, a lot of that was figuring out, you know, what was I gifted for and what was I not gifted for. Uh, the rest of that time was basically having the courage to make the type of choices uh, to say, I'm not gifted in that, so I'm going to focus where I'm strong, and I'm going to let you focus where you're strong, and we can complement one another. All right. That's Charlie in the background. I think he's upset that the dog's got some time last week, and he didn't get any. Come here. This is Charlie. He is our our youngest of all the kitties. He's also our hunter. He likes to bring us stuff every day, usually around dinner time. But right now he really wants to go out. He can't beat live feed. So what I was saying was I, it took a number of years to figure out where God gifted me and where he didn't gift me. And then the rest of the time, it was that, that courage to focus on my strengths and not my weaknesses. And we live in a world today where everyone wants you to focus on, you know, what's your flaw? What's your weakness? What aren't you good at? You know, you just need to work harder. I can't tell you how many times someone said, oh, well, you know, you say you're not good at working with your hands, 
but you just have to try or you're not good with this or you're not good with that but uh, you just have to do this I guess the way that I approach it is if God gave me these specific gifts over here and he didn't give me these gifts why should I spend most of my time trying to get better at these things rather than excelling in these things I think too many of us do just that now there are uh, times when it's good to try things because you don't know if you're gifted or not you might think you're not I've had many times where someone they've you know said that they would do something and they tried it out and they just fell in love with it you know for me when I started in ministry uh, I originally thought I was going to be doing youth ministry partly because I was pretty much a youth myself at the time and I didn't know as I could lead adults and so I, I started off that way and and I loved the time that I had in youth ministry uh, at Pierce uh, at Covenant Acres Camp at Cataraugus Camp but what I found was that that wasn't my my main call uh, it was something I enjoyed and I think I was good at um, in bits and spurts, but, but not all the time. And so I, I'm thankful to still have opportunities to do some things with youth, but um, that's not my, my full-time gig. Um, God is, has gifted me in other ways. When I was in Warsaw, <clears throat> those two years were instrumental and me becoming the, the pastor and evangelist that I am today because uh, I got to try so many different hats on. I mean, I, I did everything from, you know, uh, creating a new uh, CE program, uh, preaching some, helping out with the youth, um, visitation, counseling, uh, doing weddings, just, you know, Things that, that I had not experienced to that point. I was very comfortable there. The people were fantastic. Uh, my, my senior pastor was fantastic. There was a lot of grace given me there uh, to be able to try different things. But it wasn't until I got to Colonial Heights and I got to lead and I got to pastor and teach, that's when I realized this is what God has called me to do. And I couldn't do those things uh, for the most part at Colonial Heights because that was the lead pastor's uh, position. That's what he was uh, supposed to do. And so, you know, even though I was comfortable, God, he took me and he put me somewhere else where I could be the lead pastor and I could explore those gifts that he has given me and from that time on, uh, I have just, uh, I've done whatever I can. I've gone back to school. I have did my, my master's. Uh, I did doctoral work. Uh, I got my caps from NES. I, I you know, I've preached, again, uh, around the, the world in many places, let alone around uh, this area. And it is just something that, that sparks joy in me to be able to do. Uh, something that I, you know, realized about halfway through my ministry was uh, even though I could do administrative things and, and to an extent I have to do them, uh, I realized that that did not give me joy. You know, sitting in the office did not give me joy. Uh, being with people, being able to, to share the gospel, to be able to share joy with others, be able to, to give them good news of Jesus Christ. That's what really um, fills me, you know, that, that refilling, you know, the Holy Spirit refilling me every single day, waking up with a passion. Things like this, being able to use uh, my, my creative outlet, um, these are things that fuel me. And so what, what I want to share with you today is that uh, if you don't know 
what your strengths are, if you don't know what your gifts are, explore them. Try different things. You know, on the, the, the Christian side of things, you can take a spiritual gift inventory. Uh, but th this doesn't just apply to spiritual gifts. You know, wh what skills do you have? What things make you want to wake up with passion in the morning? You know, don't let someone else tell you that you need to spend all your time focusing on something else. Yes, th there's no such thing as a job that doesn't have pieces that we wish we didn't have to do. But... You need to have a majority of your time spent doing things that are going to fill you up and not just drain you. And so have courage today. Take that step. Focus on your strengths. I've always loved the quote by Reggie McNeil. He said, the best leaders are imbalanced. <laughs> Meaning uh, they're, they're growing over here where their strengths are rather than trying to just even things out along the way. And so today, uh, I pray that you will be imbalanced. I pray that you will start to know, if you do not already, the, the joy that it is to be able to uh, focus on your strengths and allow God to use you the way that he made you to be used, rather than the way that someone else may expect from you. Have a great day.